Okay, and welcome to the first of the Photoshop introductory lessons. Today we're going to learn how to turn a photograph black and white, which is very straightforward. Um, we're going to open Photoshop, open the file, so we have file open. I find the file I want to turn black and white. There you can see the picture. I then simply go to image, adjustments, black and white. And it's as simple as that. Now, once it's black and white, what I like to do as well is make some adjustments to the brightness and contrast to make it really pop. Give it more contrast and make it brighter so that you can see the difference on the screen already. It's a much sharper image. Okay, that's how you do that. And that's very effective to have black and white images. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to do the color splash. So, using the same technique, we will do one more thing beforehand. So, I'm going to step backwards by pressing Ctrl or Z on the keyboard. Before I turn it black and white, I'm going to duplicate the layer. Click OK. So, you now you see I have two layers over here. The top layer is the one I'm going to make black and white. So, we're going to go to black and white. Click OK. Remember to go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness and Contrast. Give it more contrast. Make it a bit brighter. Click OK. Once we've done this, we will then select the rubber tool, which is over here. We want to make sure it's not too big and not too small, so we'll test the size of it. And then very, very carefully, we will rub out along the edges of the rays so that you can see the color is coming back. Now, we will do this very carefully. Once we've gone around the edge, you can see it takes a little bit of time to do this effectively. Photography editing is not a race. There are no prizes for rushing. Just take your time, make sure you get the edge done. And then once the edge is done with the smaller brush, You've then got an opportunity to make the brush much wider. Over here on the size at the top, there's a little arrow you can see, and then we can just make all those adjustments. And you will see the color flooding back in. I like to call it color splash, we call it color flood if you wish. And there is the color splash. Now, once we've done this, it's always a good idea to save our work. So we go File, Save As. I'm saving stuff in my Photoshop examples. We'll call this Color Splash. And um, there we go. We can then place this into our slideshow. Thank you very much for watching, and there will be more to follow.